Robert Horton was an American actor and singer who made a name for himself in Hollywood during the 1950s and 1960s. He starred in several popular television shows and movies, including the hit Western series Wagon Train, which catapulted him to fame and earned him a loyal fan base. However, despite his success, Horton's personal life was plagued with tragedy and turmoil, which ultimately led to his sad and untimely ending. In this video, we will delve into the life of Robert Horton, his rise to stardom, his struggles with addiction and failed relationships, and the circumstances surrounding his death. Through his story, we will gain a better understanding of the darker side of Hollywood and the toll that fame can take on a person's life. Robert Horton's story begins in Los Angeles, California, where he was born as Meade Howard Horton Jr. on July 29, 1924. He was the son of Meade Howard Horton and Chetta McMurrin, and from an early age he had to endure several surgeries including hernia repair and treatment for an enlarged kidney. Despite these health challenges, Horton was determined to pursue his passions. He attended California Military Institute in Paris where he played football and honed his athletic skills. After graduating in 1943 at the age of 19, he enlisted in the Coast Guard, eager to serve his country during World War II. However, Horton's military career was cut short when he was medically discharged due to his kidney condition. Undeterred, he decided to focus on his other interests and enrolled in the Pasadena Playhouse, where he discovered his love for acting and singing. Horton's talent and dedication soon paid off, and he landed his first role on Broadway in the musical Best Foot Forward. He went on to star in several successful plays and musicals, earning critical acclaim for his performances. Robert Horton's journey to Hollywood stardom began with a chance encounter in 1945. While still a student at the University of Miami, he met a talent scout who offered him an uncredited role in Lewis Milestone's film, A Walk in the Sun. This was just the beginning of his career in entertainment. Horton's love for acting led him to transfer to the University of California where he graduated cum laude. He then moved to New York City to pursue his dreams working as a struggling actor. However, he eventually returned to California to continue his career. It was at the age of 28 that Horton signed a contract with Metro Goldwyn Mayer, which provided him with opportunities to appear in films. It was during his time at Metro Goldwyn Mayer that he met two actors who would become lifelong friends, Robert Fuller and James Drury. Although Horton had success in film, it was his work on television that made him a household name. His first major television role was on Ford Theater in the episode Portrait of Lydia on December 16, 1954. This was just the beginning of a successful television career that included starring roles in popular shows such as Wagon Train and A Man Called Shenandoah. Robert Horton's career was marked by his distinct voice and his memorable roles on television. However, he was most recognized for his portrayal of the frontier scout Flint McCullough in the popular television series Wagon Train. Horan played the role of McCullough from 1957 to 1962, bringing the character to life and earning critical acclaim for his performance. However, after five seasons on the show, Horan made the difficult decision to leave Wagon Train to pursue a career in musical theater. The role of McCullough was eventually taken over by actor Robert Fuller, who bore a striking resemblance to Horton and coincidentally shared the same birthday, albeit nine years apart. Fuller was already a veteran of Western series Laramie, and his portrayal of the new scout, Cooper Smith, helped to keep the show a success even after Horton's departure. Robert Horton's talent and rugged good looks made him a sought-after performer in both movies and television throughout his career. One of his notable roles was in the television adaptation of King's Row, 1955, where he played a character of Drake McHugh, originally portrayed by Ronald Reagan in the film version. King's Row was part of the Warner Brothers Presents series, which also featured the television version of Casablanca and Cheyenne, starring Clint Walker. The series ran for seven episodes, rotating between these shows, and proved to be a successful venture for Horton and the other actors involved. Over the course of his career, Horton made numerous appearances in movies and television shows between 1951 and 1989. 
One of his earliest roles was a small part in the film Bright Road, which starred the legendary Dorothy Dandridge. In addition to his work in film, Horan also made several television appearances, including an episode of Ray Millen's sitcom Meet Mr. McNutley, and on the syndicated Sheriff of Cochise, where he starred alongside John Bromfield. Robert Horton's career spanned over six decades in television, movies, and theater. He was well known for his role as Flint McCullough in the Western television series Wagon Train, but he also appeared in numerous other shows such as Alfred Hitchcock Presents, The DuPont Show with June Allison, Here's Hollywood, and The Barbara Stanwyck Show. In Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Horton played a bookie and blackmailer in a memorable episode titled The Disappearing Trick, directed by Arthur Hiller. He also portrayed Danny Barnes in The DuPont Show with June Allison's episode No Place to Hide. Apart from acting, Horton was also an accomplished singer, and he performed in theaters and nightclubs across the United States and even in Australia. In 1963, he landed the lead male role in the musical adaptation of N. Richard Nash's play, The Rainmaker. The musical, featuring music by Tom Jones and Harvey Schmidt, ran for 330 performances on Broadway. As a veteran actor of both television and film, Horton's career spanned over six decades. In 1966, he starred in MGM's first ever made-for-television western, The Dangerous Days of Kiowa Jones. The film was distributed simultaneously in cinemas across Europe and co-starred Sal Mineo and Diane Baker. Two years later, Horton appeared in The Green Slime, a low-budget science fiction film directed by Kinji Fukasaku and shot entirely in Japan with an American and European cast. In 1983, Horton ventured into daytime soap operas, taking on the role of Whit McCull in As the World Turns, which he played until 1984. Robert Horton's personal life was filled with marriages and divorces. He first married Mary Catherine Job in 1946, but their marriage ended in 1950. Horton then married actress Barbara Ruick in 1953 in Las Vegas, but their union also ended in divorce just three years later in 1956. In 1960, Horton married actress Marilyn Bradley, and the couple limited their professional appearances to perform together on stage. Horton and his wife lived in Encino, California, in the same home for 55 years until 2015. However, their long-lasting marriage sadly came to an end with Horton's death. On March 9, 2016, the actor passed away at the age of 91 in a rehabilitation clinic in Los Angeles, California, due to natural causes. His contributions to the entertainment industry will not be forgotten. Rest in peace and goodbye, Robert Horton.